It's uh, a lovely good afternoon to you. This is uh, the radical farmer here at Organic Farm 7. So as I promised you that I'm going to be showing you how you can um, automatically uh, feed your plants with, without uh, going around dropping your fertilizers. Now this is applicable to the liquid fertilizers of which it is a very good practice especially also in um, organic um, farming it really lightens your bedding and saves a lot of time so i'll give you a few reasons why we've decided to do this number one is um, the value that we have for our time so we have seen that we spend a lot of time uh, moving with buckets of this kind running up and down putting uh, fertilizer on on uh, on plants but uh, what is going to be happening right now is um, we no longer have to do that instead the systems uh, have been automated so that we can um, improve on efficiency and also save a lot of time and uh, you see if you were to do the mathematics right you'd find that it is very costly to do things slowly it is very costly to do things inefficient you'd save a lot of money if you automate things so the work that used to take maybe five people to do in a day it is going to be done by one pe by one person and it's going to be done more efficient and also it is going to be done um, like this kind of a system can last for years and years and years and you save a lot of money so you should have maybe other reasons of doing this but it also delivers the nutrients right at the plant and um that really helps a plant have the needed nutrients delivered and supplied within the shortest period of time. And I believe that is very, very good. And as a farmers, that is those are the practices that we are supposed to, um, to do. So you can do this on the smallest scale that you can, uh, you can, you can, you can do. Um, but I can assure you, we are really happy with uh, this kind of a system because it is going to improve and help quite a number of uh, organic farmers. So I'm going to start with the shed. We've put a shed net here because we're going to be, this is going, the platform we're going to be making our organic fertilizers from. So sometimes what happens is that when you have got direct sunlight, there's evaporation of, um, of fertilizers. Then at the same time, the microbes which are in the, which are in the, in the fertilizer, they may not need direct sunlight it is going to disturb their functionality so what we have done we've put this is like um 30 30 percent sunlight so that there's um enough sunlight to make sure that they are still active and and all all those things so we're going to be making our fertilizers there are some drums we've got about eight of them we're going to pack them right here and we're going to be doing the fermentation and uh, the extraction of the nutrients right here then um let me explain a little bit about the pipes that you see here you may be a little bit um, confused so the guy that is doing the great work here is this component is called a venturi you can find that lotto tank so they have got different sizes based on how um you you, you based on the size of your of your field so we are using a 32 um, millimeter but actually we've a little bit modified it so that it can be able to suck more more fertilizer so if you can do a little bit of uh, venturi is how they work you you are going to understand better but in this context i'm going to show you that's the piece that we have so we have this pipe of water there's a pump a 0 0.75 horsepower that is pumping water here specifically um to create suction here so if you can see it is coming like this then there's a valve here in case we are not feeding the plants we are going to close the valves there's that valve which takes fertilizer to the field and that other valve which takes fertilizer to the field and that other valve taking uh, fertilizer to the field so instead of having maybe three uh, points of uh, feeding the plants we just have um, valves which direct water uh, fertilizer to different uh, parts so in case we're not doing the fitigation and the pump is running we open this valve then the water goes into the the tank so meaning the pump is capable of doing two jobs at a time so if we want to feed uh we want to divert it so that we we just feed the plants then we just close this um this this uh this valve and immediately the suction uh starts um this side then um 
if you can see here so this one here is getting the fertilizer as you can see this pipe is sucking the fertilizer from there then when the fertilizer gets here then there's a filter here where maybe there are some particles then it filters them out then it is distributes the fertilizers from here so there's a pipe which gets fertilizer going to the fields down there there's a there's a reservoir so there's a main pipe where we we connect so that it can take the fields to all the fields down there even to the to the to the wasis to the greenhouse so we can take fertilizer to the whole farm this section then this pipe takes to the farm the whole lot of this section then this side it takes uh the fertilizer to the whole lot of uh this section so there are diff there are three parts of the field so using one venturi based on the time that we want to do the the, the fitigation if it is this side we close all these valves then we open that one if it is this side like in this at this time i'm um these micro jets which are running I'm, I'm feeding using this this line so i close those others then i create uh, for that one so when you've got more pressure passing through here what is going to happen is that you're going to have more suction so normally the way they co connect the venturis is that they let the water pass through here then you you may be let's say for example we we bring it here the ordinary way if you can check even on the internet they put a valve maybe on the middle here then when you close it more water will be passing through here then going but what happens is that this affects the pressure so this venturi is a, uh, is uh, operating uh, independently from the pressure uh, to the water that goes to the to the wasis to 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 the supply so there is a mixing here then when the water comes out of here this is undiluted high concentration fertilizer which is mixed up with the water that comes out of here then when i open this valve then it brings the water this side and um it comes and uh, feeds it into this main pipe which is taking water to the to the field so there's just this connection is specifically for fertilizer so it's feeding into the fertilizer the, brings in the fertilizer here then it goes into the field and we are feeding um our our plants so this kind of a system is very effective and it's very very efficient maybe you may be wondering or asking yourself that uh, how many liters can it be able to get let's say maybe for maybe in a minute how efficient it is so what we can do is uh, we can get um, we can get this uh, venturi and uh, we put it right here in uh, this two liter um, container then we'll be able to see how much fertilizer you can see it has started um, moving then we'll be able to see how many liters it can suck maybe let's say for example in a minute but as i mentioned earlier on the more pressure passes through that venturi there then the more um fertilizer to be able to take to the to the field as you can see the water level is uh really going down then from the minutes of um the video you'll be able to count how many minutes it takes and if you want to look at the ratios of the mixing you can do the calculations that is going to be your assignment then uh, you'll be able to see how many liters it can be able to take based on the size of the field you are going to come up with the calculations but you can increase the suction rate um, based on uh, the wastis. You can increase the suction rate based on the, the increase of the pressure that is um, right there. This system works out best and um, I would want to thank Mr. Mwemba, Mr. Panuka. That's where I saw this thing, then I came on and worked on it, then improved it and that is, it is serving our purpose and um, we are very sure that our plants are going to greatly improve and if you have got any question comment and we'll be very happy to help you.